Let's bring in Jan Grohn, who is chief U.S. macro strategist with TD Securities, also a former economic advisor to the New York Fed. Jan, thanks very much for being with us. Um, I guess let's start with what the inflation picture looks like, because we got that new data today. And had we not been talking about worries within the banking sector, what would we what would we be talking about? Will we be still talking about elevated price pressure? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think this this was a strong uh, CPI report. I mean, uh, for the second uh, consecutive month, uh, core core CPI accelerated, uh, and that, that's clearly driven by the, uh, in particular, the services component of of core inflation, uh, and that's driven by uh, shelter, but also the, uh, the 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 prices, the core prices outside of shelter in in the services component uh, has, were, were accelerated over the month. And we know that that is very much driven by a strong labor market. And we saw a confirmation of that last Friday in the payroll support for, Feb for February, which also was, uh, was quite strong in terms of payroll growth. So the overall, overall uh, picture uh, that we've seen in, uh, you know, in, in data on the labor market, on CPI inflation and PCE inflation over for January and February in its totality indicates that the, the Fed uh, Kind of doesn't have a grip on uh, its in, its its fight with inflation, and really needs to do more. Uh, so I, my my view is that uh, up until uh, Thursday, Friday last week, before we uh, we had the, the SVB bank, banking panic, uh, mm -hmm. the, the Fed basically uh, was set for a 50 basis point hike uh, for next week. Now, obviously, the the banking panic. Uh, changed the picture uh, quite a bit, and I'm sure we're going to talk about that. But this is a, this is a, this is kind of a, another indication that you know inflation is inflationary pressures in the U.S. are pretty strong still, and we do believe that uh, the Fed cannot afford to to stop hiking uh, at this time. If that's the case, and they feel the prudent move in the short term is to be more cautious in what they do next week. Are you suggesting that maybe they take their foot off the gas for a moment, but that they are not done with this rate hike cycle? So, so my view is that, yes, they're going to take down, uh, th th they're going to slow the pace relative to what they intended to do next week. So as, as I mentioned before, I think before uh, the banking panic, the intention was to go with 50 basis points, so uh, ramp up the hiking pace. Our view is now that, that it, it's going to be a 25 basis point hike next week and uh, you know, because they don't want to add to the volatility that we have now in the market. But in, next to that, they, they going to signal also that uh, they actually want to use the balance sheet to deal with these financial stability uh, concerns that we have now in, in the U.S. Uh, so basically, they, they try to signal that they have kind of Try to ring, ring fence uh, monetary policy from uh, the banking uh, banking concerns uh, through this uh, BTFP uh, facility that they have set up uh, over the weekend, uh, and you know, given that and the fact that they are essentially signal going to signal that despite strong data we're going to continue with 25 basis point hikes. Mm. They're going to sell it as a kind of a relative easing. So I think that's going to be the playbook for the Fed for next week. Very quickly before we let you go, Jan, um, obviously sure. a lot of people who are concerned about the inflation story are, 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 are likely nodding their head, uh, listening to what you're saying. Right. Is this banking situation, however, you know, the fact that uh, some poor management on treasuries by Silicon Valley Bank uh, in some ways, uh, you know, Canadians will who, who own variable rate mortgages will be aware that rates rose very rapidly. Uh, and the goal of central banks has been in, in many ways to ease those inflationary pressures by cooling the economy. If we're seeing signs of breaking through this banking situation right now, is there an argument to be made that if we take a pause here, we, we actually might see some more improvements on inflation and maybe this is a, a broader sign that it's tied to take a timeout on rate hikes? 
So, uh, as I mentioned before, I think the inflationary pressures in the U.S. are still pretty pretty high, mm. and the Fed cannot really afford to already stop hiking. They will be more cautious, though, going forward. I mean, it is clearly the case that we have a more a volatile environment in the U.S., and also the fact that we had this uh, this this banking panic shock uh, mm. is probably an indicate might be a signal for the Fed that maybe uh, the, the the basically the legs of monetary policy tightening to the real economy. Have have become maybe a little bit more shorter, so so that's gonna that's gonna filter in base in in their, their their intentions beyond next week's FOMC meeting, and and that mm-hmm. that's where the uncertainty is. So that they, right. they might they're definitely gonna have a lower uh, hiking pace, but might not yeah. uh, end up in a in a different place. Yeah.